Hello everybody, this is Steve. I'm PowerBook86 on YouTube and uh, just going to try and create a little tutorial here of how to use the Chunkster map fixing tool on Minecraft on a Macintosh. Uh, I am running Mac OS 10.7.2. This is Mac OS 10 Lion. This should also work fine on Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard or Leopard or whatever you're using. If it's not too old, it should be okay. Might be some minor adjustments, but this is what I'm going to do. Show you how it works with Lion, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to go from there. I know there are tons of videos on YouTube for using Chunkster on Windows, and I know there are a lot of comments, how do you use it on a Mac, how do you use it on a Mac? And most people say, oh, it's just the same, just do it. No, it's it's not. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit different, and especially if you've never used Terminal before, Apple's uh, Unix command line prompt, it's going to be a bit tricky for you. Um, a few warnings before I go into this. If you haven't used Terminal before, you should really be very careful with it. You could easily destroy your data and corrupt data using Terminal. So do not type in commands you're not sure of. Uh, do not just willy-nilly type anything in there. It can screw up your computer, so just be careful. Also, back up your Minecraft world file now. I cannot say this enough. I've screwed up my own files by just tinkering with them. Back up your original file. It's very easy. Just right-click on the save file, make a zip out of it, make a zip file, you know, and uh, it's, it's very simple to do. It'll save you uh, a lot of work, especially if you do not have a previous backup. So back up your Minecraft files. Very important. Let me move these out of the way. Please remember or rate or whatever. Um, so yeah, this tutorial is going to teach you how to use Chunkster on a Mac using the terminal program. You don't need anything else except the Chunkster JavaScript file. Uh, you could download that from the link I'm going to put in the little notes for this video. Other than that, uh, hopefully this tutorial will help you. And I'm um, using Minecraft version 1, if that makes a difference. And I think Chunkster is version 0.2. So let's get on with it. So what you're going to do first is, I'm going to move this out of the way, and we're going to open up Terminal. And um, you don't have to do anything special here. Um, you don't want to log in as root or anything. It should work just fine. Um, so on a Mac, it's a bit easier to do this than you think. Um, but uh, just basically type what I type, uh, and you should be OK. I have a folder. Um, called Minecraft Tools, and in this folder I basically have the Chunkster program and the world file I want to fix. I copied this world file from my Minecraft uh, world save location, which is here, I believe. Let me make sure here. Yeah, and uh, this is located under Library Application Support Minecraft. This is where all your Minecraft tools are, well, not tools, your files, your saves, your worlds, everything. So this would be under Macintosh hard drive or whatever your hard drive is named. Uh, users, then whatever your username is. Library, application support, Minecraft. Now in Mac OS 10 Lion, sometimes the library file is hidden. I forget if it's just for the user directory. I think it's only for the hard drive. But uh, you should just be able to find that uh, by clicking up go here, go to folder, and uh, that's the wrong path. Don't 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 listen to that. But that's you know if you want to go directly to a folder. Uh, so that's where all your Minecraft files are. I copied a save out of here. These are some saves here. I copied some of them uh, to fix, which are in this folder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Chunkster program and tell it to open with this word world file rather. So uh, what I'm basically going to type in. Here is a few commands, and uh, hopefully you could see these. If not, I'll actually you know what I'll zoom in. Okay, so now I'm going to type in what you need to type in to use Chunkster. Um, my Chunkster application is located under my username, under a folder called Minecraft Dash Tool. So that's what I will be using everything in. Uh, this is where it's located. Uh, to get it, you go to your username, on my computer anyway, Minecraft Tool, there's the Chunkster program, which is a Java file, and there's the world I'm going to be playing around with and editing and hopefully fixing. So, what I'm going to do here is type everything in, type in Java, 
space dash minus symbol whatever you want to call it jar then tilde which will redirect to your user directory on Mac OS 10 in this case Steven uh, slash minecraft tool which is the folder that my chunkster file is in like you saw before chunkster.jar space now after the space you're going to be typing in the location of where your minecraft world folder is your save folder that you wanted to edit so this again is in the same folder in this case minecraft tool slash world I'm not putting in any options here as you can see this screenshot from what I'm following um, you could remove mobs, remove projectiles, other things like that uh, right now I'm not going to get into that uh, but uh, we're just going to run it I'm going to press return or enter and it should run the process of fixing this world there you go see it's rebuilding the region file rebuilding the map and when it stops scrolling yep there it is when it comes back and returns your name and the computer name you're all done and uh, basically I've told you what it fixed and what it didn't fix and we've successfully run the chunkster tool okay so now that we've run the chunkster tool and we've hopefully fixed our map we're going to uh, move the map folder that we just fixed back into the minecraft directory where we could run the map we just fixed so the minecraft directory uh, where we will put it is under if you haven't changed it you know it's just the default location under Macintosh hard drive users your username uh, library application support minecraft saves so this is as you can see these are all worlds that I've had you know, I have zip files just to back them up when I'm tinkering around with this program it's always good to make a backup uh, they're small files it doesn't take that long so what I'm going to do is open up my Minecraft tool folder, which is where the Chunkster program is and the world folder is, uh, I'm going to just basically drag this folder here. This was a server folder I was testing, so that's why it has some extra files in there. But uh, anyway, it's in the world folder, and Minecraft should read that, so I'm going to open up Minecraft here. Okay, here's Minecraft. I'm just going to log in here. As you can see, it's a regular Minecraft screen, version 1.0.0. I'm going to go to single player, and the world I just fixed is right here. So I'm going to click play, and the world has been fixed. It's now playable, and you can jump around and do whatever. So I hope this little tutorial has helped you with how to run the Chunkster program and how to hopefully fix some of your Minecraft maps on a Mac. Thanks for watching!